right, now, what I'm going to say will blow out most of you. Everything that you've read in this hobby is, with my products are totally invalid. Because you're dealing with new science. Does anybody know what they mean by a paradigm shift? Okay, you're going down a road this way, and suddenly something new comes up, and you're off this way. So, what we're going to do today, we're going, this is based on pure science. It's not based on just trying to sell some. It was not made for the aquarium. It was made strictly for the environmental. The company does environmental cleanup. And so as I go through it, you'll see how some of the <coughs> values that you normally think are high, we deal with a higher value. And all of these tests that I will mention are third-party testing. None of them was done by the lab or anything of this nature. Now, first of all, everybody knows the nitrogen cycle, right? Now, you hear that the, you know, birds, birds can't fly like bumblebees. Also, the world is flat. Man can't run any faster than 60 miles an hour before exploding. You've heard all of these. And when I come up with aerobic denitrification, I get either one or two responses. Well, well let's hear about it or impossible. The, uh, the nice thing about my system is, unlike the regular nitrogen cycle, this is not a cycle at all. And because of this, if you follow my parameters, which are very, very easy to follow, you will be able to cycle your tank in 24 hours. And I am not talking about ammonia nitrite like a lot of people claim. I'm talking about ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, and also phosphate. It's as simple as that. All right? Again, it's based on pure science. To give an idea, what a regular cycle is, I'm going to watch this so it doesn't blow away. By the way, this paper here that I was holding in my hand is a 25-page report that we submitted to the Lawrence Livermore Labs. They're the largest <coughs> government lab in the U.S. And they checked out all of our references. You know, you're dealing with PhDs. You aren't dealing with, you know, somebody sweeping a room on a street or anything like this. The normal, the normal cycle is a cycle. You have, first of all, like I said, this <laughs> Okay. What you normally have is, first of all, you, you, some fish or some animal defecates. So it's right here. Now, that's got to be broken down. You have two cycles before the nitrogen <clears throat> cycle. You have one. They're called the carbon cycle. How many people here have heard of the carbon cycle? Raise your hand. Okay. The carbon cycle, there's two cycles, and they work like this. One makes photosynthesis. It's using plants. The other one makes protein. When it makes protein, what is happening? Is now the protein goes into what? Anybody know? Ammonia. I, I like to ask a lot of questions, so don't worry about it. Now, when it makes ammonia, we'll see the big A here, then the ammonia has to be broken down because you have three types of ammonia. You have ammonia, NH3, OH, I mean <coughs> NH3. Then you have ammonium, NH4, OH, which is extremely toxic. And then you have ammonium ion, which is NH4+, plus, which is considered non-toxic. Then from there, the ammonia will go into the NO2. And with the NO2, this takes some time in your aquarium. You've seen it. You put your additives in, it still takes you three to four weeks or even six weeks to balance it out. And you're, you're very careful. You put a fish in or something in at a time, and you see a spike. All right, then from this, this goes to your NO3. And usually, in an aquarium, this is where it ends. And that's it. Now, in the real world, the NO3 goes to the N2, which is nitrogen gas. And nitrogen gas goes up in the air. We breathe nitrogen gas. 
it's a non-suffocating gas. So we have about, we'll say 80%, this is roughly 80% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, but in reality we have a little less of each because there's other gases in the air. And then it goes back, then again the nitrogen is used by the plants, which is then again used, you know, to make protein and goes through the whole cycle. It's a continuous thing. This normal, if you have it at 25 degrees C, 25 degrees C, it takes approximately 28 days if all the parameters are correct. And the cycle is aerobic and then anaerobic. When you have the anaerobic, what's bad about it is it gives off certain gases like CH4, which is methane, very explosive gas. It also gives off H2S, which is an extremely toxic gas. You've seen it when you run your uh, hands in your aquarium and your gravel and you get these bubbles. Has anybody done that? Yeah. Okay, that is the H2S. H2S is only when it's in solution, after the bubbles come out, it makes a nice compound called H2SO4. Does anyone know what that is? That's, a, that's exactly right. Sulfuric acid. Now, how many people would like to swim in sulfuric acid? Another one. Number two, what happens to your pH? How many times has nobody here has ever had their pH drop in their entire life, right? So what this does is this also depresses the pH. With my cycle, which is not a cycle, it's totally different. <coughs> okay, think of it this way. Parallel railroad tracks. Organism here that does ammonia also does nitrate. Well, same time. So when you put that in, you already have your nitrate. Organism here that does nitrite also does nitrate, also does ammonia. So what happens is you have a crisscrossing like this, and this is the reason why within 24 hours <coughs> it is completely cycled. Now, the phosphorus, you say, well, where does the phosphorus go? The phosphorus normally is found in the RNA. You've heard of DNA, right? Okay, this is an RNA. Every time X amount of your nitrates and also your nitrites and also your ammonia, remember they're all nitrogen compounds, are reduced, what happens? It takes up X amount of phosphorus. With this system, if you do it, you can achieve like minuscule amount of phosphorus. You can achieve zero nitrites, zero nitrates, zero ammonia. For a reef tank, you don't want zero nitrates. Why? The reason why is simple. The small symbiotic algae that grows within the cellular structure of your cylindrata takes up the waste products from that cell. And if they don't have enough nitrogen, they can't function. And so they die, the cell dies, and then what you call bleaching, because now as the cell dies, it, it goes and the calculus skeleton is left. It's very simple. With this, like I said, within 24 hours, if you do it, now you say, well, how hard is it to set up the system? First of all, as pointed out to me in the last time, which I failed to mention, this time I won't, you can use my 